my fucking pager going off? <laughs> What it do, it's your boy Problem, man. Diamond Land Music Group. Chachi's right here in your face. And this is Dubs in here. What? Hey, this is Avian Amel with Dub CNN for West Haven Blast here with Problem. What's good with you? What's going on? Nothing much over here. With, like, we're so excited to meet with him. So, what are you up to right now? Like, we see you in front of him? Oh. Um, Looking at something? <laughs> oh, I'm just getting some records together. Just. I want to stay ahead of myself as far as projects and different releases we got coming. So. Yeah, because you're a busy man. Like in March, he came out with Hotels too. Yeah. Um, tell us a bit about that project. Um, what's the sequel to the first one, Hotels, one we did in 2011, me and DJ Head. And I just wanted to revisit that that style of music as far as just, it was, it was just for like women. It was, to, for me, even though it's not songs, just about women's stuff, like I'm not like draking it the project, but to me this this project is just like it's geared for them, it's for the lady of all ways, the ratchet for the college student, for the lady from Russia. I just geared the whole project towards that. And then we do it again with um DJ Head, who's now a very prominent figure in LA radio. In fact we did the first one in the bedroom and we were able to do this one with a big event and do a dope stuff. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. So what other like you mentioned DJ, so who other what other features? Mm -hmm. Um, artists that are on there. Hotels too has Wiz on it, Ty, Bad Luck of course, Tony, uh, Neo's on it, Snoop Dogg's on it, uh, Brian J, Snoop Dogg and working with his fucking talented as hell. Uh, Candace is on it. So it's a lot of people just... A lot of active people. A lot of people want to work with this man, including DJ Quick with your most recent project, yeah. Rosecrans. Let's talk about that. Oh man, that was a blessing. Uh, me and Quick have been, I have I've had a thousand of North Quick since 2008. Wow. We met during the Eagle Tripping Project. And he's always just been like a big brother to me, like just giving me all the game and just, just on and off the court, just different things. And we finally re reconnected maybe a few months ago in the studio and we were just cutting records. It wasn't for no project. We were just feeling good just to be back in with him. And uh, something that happened in his life where he was heavy in my heart. So we, I put out hotels and I was just riding to the music that me and him did. And I called him. I said, man, what do you think about just dropping this for the people mm -hmm. on 420? He's like, yeah, man, just, just quarterback it. You know, we can make it very smooth. So he came back from where he was. And we got in the studio just for the mixing process. And we heard the records together. And I was like, whoa, this sounds crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he got excited. And we saw the sizzle reel that my boy from Active in LA put together. The first thing we released where it was showing our careers back and forth. And we just got amped. And it just kind of took on a life of its own. So it was just something that just started. Was there any particular inspiration for it? It was just something that you guys no, just got we, together and just organically. We were just doing musics, and I don't know how they all just seemed to fit well together. But the vibe was so positive when we were working, and we wasn't doing it with no intentions of putting it out. It was just like we just gonna vibe out and just do music. That's why it feels like that. That's why it's so free. Wow. So how does it feel to have it like, you know, pretty much it's for the Compton for, right. for Compton, both of you for Compton. Right. So this is pretty much a big thing for people in Compton. So how does how does that feel to have come out with something that is for something your community? Yeah, I man, I want I want to say that was what our intentions, but it just it wasn't. Just, it was just <laughs> it's just we just got together, just having a good ass time. It's coming in and, your heart, right? But. To see the impact that it has given the city and just other artists calling me and DJs and just people were talking about how good this feels to see 
the generations bridge together with him being of the first regime of the West and me being of the second and how we still can get together and, and, and prolong each other's careers in a mm -hmm. sense. Like I feel like our culture, hip hop, they like to shun the vets and, and say, well, somebody's too old. Or then they'll say, well, he's too young. The older ones be like, I don't get into that. And mm -hmm. nah, we need to preserve our culture, period. Like hip hop is the most dominant music breathing. No matter what anybody says, that's why they all mimic it. Like, and rock and roll is still around because they pay respect to their veterans with the Hall of Fames and covering mm -hmm. their old records. So we want to do the same in our genre, so. Yeah, and that's what they're doing. Who else is on this, on the Rose Friends? Uh, Buddy, he's out of Compton. Shout out to him, Bad Luck, of course. Wiz Khalifa's on it, Game's on it. Candace Boyd is on it. She's very, very dope. Uh, Shy Carter was on it. That's a really, it's a really big project. Do not fuck up the money. Motherfucker, I came out the bottom. Now I'm feeling like I'm fresh out the shower. Now I'm feeling like I just lift them powder. Problem the name. And a nigga about to change the game. You see what we done did? Now this is where it started. So, like, out of all the songs on there, do you have a favorite? Is there, was there something easy to choose? Or? You know what? I. I thought I did, but I don't because every story, every song has a story. Like um, the first song we recorded was "You Are Everything," and I just remember the session uh, uh, and, and quick just getting on the engineer like, "No, stop, stop, get his voice right, prop." You are killing it. This is like Pac. I was there when he did that. For, I'm telling you, I was there when he did all eyes on me. Keep going. Stop. I'm like, what in the <laughs> fuck is this? This is wild. So that, and then then after we did the, the verses, he said, now, nah, all right, do some edits. I'm like, what you mean? He's like, no, get in there. Put some different drums. Shake it out. I'm like, me? Shit. All right. <laughs> yeah. So that was the first record. So that's special to me. Uh, uh, that was amazing. The music process, like, of course, I mean, I'm fucking from Compton. I, I'm basically a mirror of this man as far as like what I represent, the good times, the partying side of Compton. Um, ladies, yes, we like those. <laughs> <laughs> I produce myself and just how hands on I am with my music. So I got like, I, my, my comparison, if Dre has Kendrick, then Quick has me. So this is a fair, it was a huge deal for me. Wow. And this man is very busy. He also is a businessman. Tell us about Diamond Lane. Uh, Diamond Lane Music Group, independent still after six years. Uh, salute to the CEO, Fast Lane, man. Just talked to him earlier. Uh, we're, we're growing. We're growing. It feels like it's a brand new company. Mm -hmm. you just with just the way that we're attacking everything, it just it just feels new again. And that's crazy for me, you know what I mean? Because I've been around for a minute. But it's so exciting just to, just the trajectory that we're taking the company right now. So and who else? What other? Who who else is a part of a Diamond Lane group? Because you have artists and like Bad Luck's very very pivotal piece in all of this. He actually made the cover for Rosecrans. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah. Uh, Stony the Diller is an artist out the east side of Watts. Uh, we're we're developing right now. He's 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 tearing up the streets out here. So we're getting ready to get his push going, and we got a Kasha. So stay tuned for her. Her album is actually done. We're just getting everything right with that. Oh, so this is just, this whole thing honestly is just amazing. And then, like you, we say you're a busy man, back to back projects. Um, is there anybody in particular in your whole you know so, career so far? Because he's still going <laughs> <laughs> and not stopping. Um, that you would say is has been not probably your favorite to work with, but like say has taught you the most or ah. Uh. Taught me the most, it would have to be, it's a combination of people, like Bad Luck, I say, because the way he, how intense he is on lyrics and content, well, he makes it that I have to be on my A game, only if I'm doing a party song, ratchet song, retrospect, it has to be a certain way because his lyricism is through the roof. Mm -hmm. So that alone keeps me in this place where I have to always deliver there. Production wise, quick, for sure, Taught me about the all outboard stuff, different plugins, and just the whole natural process of creating records. Mm -hmm. Terrace, Terrace Martin is very big on my production and, and just making sure that I stay um, 
true to myself, not the, what the people want me to do. Yeah. But what we do, like artistically, so that's huge. Snoop, period. Just the whole business that is him. Yeah. The game, just to get all of that, and if I could push all that in one, like yeah, that's and don't forget Knife Wonder too. Yeah, you, Knife Wonder. You, also, you also mentioned Snoop. Is it true that he had, he was a big pivotal um, aspect to your coming into the game? Very. He's the first person to ever pay me to do something. Well, no, let me take that back. Yo, yo was, but he was the first person to like where I saw this amount of money for like doing something like whoa this shit is major but he also taught me if you're in the room don't just be in the room know that you're in the room for a reason so max out like take full advantage of being there so with, during the ego tripping process i came in as just a writer and i left out of there with a deal from universal and had one of my records i'm fucked up was tearing up the streets by the end of that process because just from the game i was getting daily from him corrupt and, yeah. and you you've mentioned bad luck how did you guys hook up you know, it's crazy. Uh, we met We met when I was showing him. We met at a studio a while ago, but then we clicked. But I had seen him prior to that at this freestyle contest. I went to see my boys in, and he was like the halftime guest. I'm like, okay, why the fuck is he? Why is he getting that? And I watched him <laughs> turn a room full of booze in two minutes. I was like, oh, he's the hardest thing ever. So that was my first encounter with him. But then we hooked up, and then I was kind of showing him about like vlogs and different stuff. You know, he wasn't internet savvy, which is crazy now. He's way more internet savvy than me. But <laughs> I was showing about the Dove CNN forums and the West Coast Riders forums and different stuff. And then we just kind of clicked and we just been friends for so long. So when we started Diamond Lane, you know, I needed somebody out here with me in these trenches. And I was just the perfect guy, was somebody I respected, somebody who I look up to as a lyricist and just as a man. Like his, his, his morals are somewhere that everybody else is just isn't. And so that's just an important person to have around. Yeah, that's really good. So you get really good partners with, yeah. you know. Yeah. Two one on one. Yeah. Check the check and go straight to the city with it. High enough to see my whole city limits Silly gimmicks, ain't too many in my city with it My city with it, if you doubt it, nigga, come and get it Everything you niggas mimic, bro, my city did it Lost so many to them semis over Philly fitteds The city hot, pray the Lord come and chilly chit it Let one knee hit the floor so he really feel it Check a check, then go straight to the city with it 105 East, to see who really with it Really with it, nigga it's like, I said the 105 feet, let's see who really, really, really.